Well, this Black History Month, we are shining a light on Arizonans who are making a difference in the black community all across our state. This morning, 12 News journalist Jen Wall is introducing us to a former East Valley NAACP president who says he has been building bridges in communities across the U.S. and right here in State 48. And this has been going on since he was a teen. Take a look. And at this point in time, when you ask Roy Tatum Jr. what it means to be a community bridge builder in the East Valley. Working in the community like this space right here, we're in uh, AG's Barbershop, where we've actually hosted a couple of uh, community conversations with Chandler Police Department. It's a journey he says started in 1989 at an event with black college students in Virginia Beach. I was 13 years old and I saw um, men and women, black men and black women being beat down by the Virginia Beach Police and the Virginia State Police, and that didn't sit well with me. Fast forward to today in Arizona, Tatum Jr. says he's worked with many local law enforcement agencies through the East Valley NAACP. That was a very uh, unique situation. A lot, while a lot of people were uh, rallying against the police or some call for the abolishment of the police, I was, uh, and, and our organization was trying to to make, build a bridge, you know, and, and have our voices heard on the inside. Tatum Jr.'s conversations happening for years and happening for nearly a decade leading up to the death of George Floyd, which sparked national outrage and support for the black community. And this was the first time you actually began to hear police officers uh, condemn the actions of other police officers in a public manner. And so I think there was a changing of tide and a change, a beginning to change of culture within policing in the local valley. While Tatum Jr. says he's working in a different capacity now, he says he hopes the dialogue and progress continues. Several years have passed now. How do you think progress has been made since then? I believe the initial shock of the George Floyd incident has, has worn off a bit. And some people have kind of fell back into comfort. He says he believes there are still issues that need addressed with policing, including lack of diversity in hiring and leadership and making all communities feel safe. Every police department has to have a competent community engagement officer. Prior to Sheriff Paul Penzone stepping down, Tatum Jr. says he was appointed and served as chair of the African American Advisory Board in Penzone's department. He hopes the work his team accomplished continues under the new leadership. Jen Wall, 12 News.